everyone welcome to my youtube channel Ravella Design today I'm gonna video with a very easy and also very enjoyable and beautiful project we are going to make uh, these flowers dear friends you can use dear flowers in many projects you can ornament your crochet blankets crochet cardigans crochet uh, headbands crochet hats anything you can imagine you can use these uh, crochet flowers also you can make crochet necklace earrings imagination fly it is very easy dear friends we are using two different cotton colors and three millimeters hook okay let's start how to make this first of all we are making six chains firstly I'm making a knot like this and one two three four five and six chains I am pulling the knot I am inserting my hook in the first chain and making a circle like this like this dear friend me may we made a circle and then I'm making eight chains one two three four five six seven eight now two times yarn over we are going to make triple crochets in the circle after making two times uh, yarn over I am inserting my hook in the circle like this yarn over pull through and I will make pull through two by two this is one this is two this is three yes triple crochet we made and then two times yarn over again inserting our hook in the same circle meanwhile we are keeping this yarn end on the ring like this we are fixing it better and also we are hiding it so after making two times yarn over I am inserting my hook in the same circle and making another triple crochet two by two uh, I am pulling through three times I'm doing this and it's been a triple crochet dear friends now I am making four chains one two three four two times yarn over I'm making inserting my hook in the same place also keeping this yarn end on the ring and uh, three times pull through I will make uh, by two by two uh, look first of all I will pull through these two loops this is one time pull through and then the other loops I will make pull through like this it is two times pull through and there is uh, also two loops on the hook I will make pull through as the third time and the triple crochet is finished now I'm making two times yarn over keeping this on the ring again inserting my hook in the same circle and making a triple crochet dear friends like this our spaces are becoming uh, to be a pair now we are making four chains this is one two three and four two times yarn over I'm making and inserting my hook in the same place like this two by two I will make pull through in three times I'm doing this and I'm making a triple crochet two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same place yarn over pull through yes making four chains again one two three and four after making four chains I'm making two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same center and making a triple crochet this is one two and three two times yarn over I'm making inserting my hook in the same place and making a triple crochet like this one two three four and meanwhile we are counting the spaces this is one two three four I'm inserting my hook in the same place making a triple crochet two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same space making another triple crochet one two three four five it's been five it's been totally six dear friends we are making one two 
three and four chains, two times yarn over we are making, inserting our hook in the same space, making a triple crochet. Two by two, making pull through. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. It's been six. I made one um, triple crochet. I'm not making the second one because you will remember at first we made eight chains. These eight, uh, four chains, these four chains of this totally eight chain will be used as the triple crochet of the last space, dear friends. Normally it should be two. I, we made one, one, two, three, and four. In the fourth chain, in the fourth chain, I'm inserting my hook yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch. I used uh, the four chains of this uh, first eight chain as the triple crochet and I used the rest of the four chains of the total eight chain. I'm using the rest four as the space, as the sixth space. It's been like this. The round is completed. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, spaces we made. I'm making one chain and I'm cutting the yarn. Yes, we are finished with the pink color. Now I am taking my red color in my hand. We are going to make the petals. We made this uh, center in the pink color, light pink color, and then we are going to make the petals, dear friends. We are starting uh, between the triple crochets. Anywhere you can start. I'm not starting here because there is a knot here. It can be not neatly. For this reason, I am trying to start in any uh, triple crochet like this. First of all, I am fixing, making one chain. I am keeping this on the ring in order to fix and hide this. First of all, yarn over. I am going to the following uh, space and making a half double crochet in there like this. Yarn over. I am making two double crochet in there this is one and this is two now I am making two times yarn over and we are going to make triple crochet two by two we are making pull through in three times and making a triple crochet two times yarn over again and we are going to make another triple crochet. Yarn over. Now we are going to make two double crochet. This is one and this is two. And yarn over in the same space we are making a half double crochet like this. First paddle is finished. Now we are going to fix this. Uh, I'm inserting my hook between the triple crochet and making a single stitch in there. Yarn over, keeping this on the ring, going to the space, making a half double crochet. Yarn over, making double crochet. This is one, this is two. After making double crochet, I'm making two times yarn over and making a triple crochet like this. Making another triple crochet, yarn over, making two double crochet. This is one and this is two. Yarn over, making a half double crochet in the same space. And the second pedal is finished. Now inserting my hook between the triple crochet and making a single stitch. Yes, dear friends, like this we are completing this round. There will be totally six pedals. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's finish all the pedals. Let's come to the end. I came to the end of the row. Now what I am going to do, I will insert my hook between this triple crochet, yarn over, pull through. I am making a single stitch and I am making one chain and cutting the yarn. 
We are finished with the pedals, dear friends. Now I will show you how we are going to hide the yarn ends. I'm starting to hide uh, in the center. I'm just pulling this a bit. I'm taking a small hook in my hand. Uh, you remember I started with three millimeters, but this is one and a half millimeter. It is easier to uh, work between the stitches uh, with smaller hook while hiding the hiding the yarn ends, dear friends, like this, as if I am crocheting. I'm sliding uh, the yarn ends between the stitches. In my other videos, I showed many times. If if it is uh, your first watching my video. It will be useful for you and I just want to tell you that I have another video also among my videos it is detailed uh, I showed how to clean yarn ends and I am turning back if I do this it will be fixed well first of all I am going from left to right and then I'm turning and doing the same thing from right to left. If we do this, it's been fixed well. And I am cutting the last yarn ends. You see, the center is very clean. And meanwhile, which color you are cleaning, slide the stitches between that colors. For example, for the pink one, I slided the yarn end between the uh, pink stitches. Now I'm going to hide the red one and uh, I will slide uh, between the red stitches. If we do this, the yarn ends becoming more invisible. Otherwise, if I try to hide this between pink stitches, the red yarn ends uh, will be visible in time. Yes, from right to left, a few times I slide the yarn end and now turning back, I will do the same thing, this time to the opposite side. I mean from right to left. And a few times, one or two times, I'm doing this. And one moment. And I'm cutting the last end. Like this. Yes, dear friends, it is finished. You can use the flower if you like, like this. But in my uh, project, there is a puff stitch in the center. Now I will show you how we are going to make it. Again, I'm taking my red color in my hand. I will make three chains. First of all, I'm making a knot and making one chain. And then I am pulling the knot and fixing. I'm going to make the chain two, but I will make the chain two a bit loose and making chain Three. Chain one and chain three be, will be tight, but chain uh, chain two will be a bit loose because we are going to make the foundation of the puff stitch uh, in the chain two. I'm making a, a bit loose loop like this. I mean, not very long, like this. Yarn over. I am inserting my hook in the chain two. yarn over pull through uh, there are there are three loops on the hook as you see i will make pull through only with the two loops you see there are two loops here i'm keeping the third one and making pull through yarn over i am inserting my hook in the same uh, chain i mean chain two yarn over pull through I will make a uh, pull through only two loops. Always two loops. We are going to make a pull through, dear friends, like this. You see, there are still uh, loops still waiting on the hook. Yarn over. I'm inserting my hook again in the same chain. Yarn over, pull through, and only two loops. Only these two loops. I am making pull through. It's been three. This is four times. 
five times we are doing the same thing dear friends and this is five times five times we uh, insert our hook uh, in the chain two and later on only two loops we made pull through and there are uh, loops on our hook we, we kept um, the rest of the loop on our hook now yarn over I'm keeping the puff stitch I'm keeping also this yarn and I will pull them all through together like this I'm taking yarn over like this making one chain and it's finished yes we finished we are making one chain and cutting the yarn we need uh, some small yarn so this reason we are keeping three and four centimeters because we are going to use these yarn ends in order to tie the puff stitch in the center of the flower now we are going to fix this puff stitch in the center of the flower dear friends I am taking my small hook in my hand again you know we made six chains for the center I am just try I'm just trying to uh, insert my hook between the, the stitches of this chain dear friends like this moment I'm pulling and I am doing the same thing for the opposite side like this I am taking the other yarn end and pulling yes like this one moment I am pulling these two yarn ends it's been like this two times I'm tidying in order to fix well and I am cutting and regarding the last end I will uh, hide between the stitches like this a few times I am doing this I am cutting the last yarn end I'm doing the same thing for the other yarn end I'm cutting the last end of this yarn end also yes it is finished completely yes dear friends it is like this as you see it is very easy especially for the beginners it's a very nice flower Today we came to the end of another project video. Thank you so much watching this video till now. I will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials, dear friends. Please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info ring. Please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the coming videos.